Hi, and welcome to the tutorial video for the regression prelabs in Stats 250. So I've got the R console open, and we're just going to start by opening R Commander here. So to do that, we're going to type library, an open parenthesis, capital R, CMDR, close the parenthesis, and hit enter. So now that I've got R Commander open, we're going to start by loading some data. So to do that, we'll come up to data, load data set, and we're going to use the therapy data set here, uh, which can be downloaded from Canvas. So we can click View Data Set, and we can see that the therapy data set contains two variables, and uh, there are 46 observations of those variables. The first variable is called satisfaction. This is a score from 0 to 100 that rates how satisfied a person is with the therapy that they've been receiving to treat their anxiety. And anxiety, the second variable here, is a score that rates the severity of a patient's anxiety. And we're interested in determining whether a person's anxiety level can predict their satisfaction with their treatment. The first thing that we want to do when we're starting with a, a data set that we want to perform regression on is to create a scatter plot. So to do this, we're going to come up to graphs, scatter plot, and we're going to choose an x variable and a y variable. The x variable here is the explanatory variable. This is what we want to use to predict the y variable or the response variable. So here we're going to use anxiety as the x variable and satisfaction as the y variable. In the options tab, we can see that we've got a bunch of plot options here. Um, you can change the title of your scatter plot as well as the x and y axis labels. Uh, we won't necessarily deal with any of these. Um, but you can play around with them if you'd like and see what they do. We're just going to click OK, and you can see that now we have a scatter plot that's popped up in our original R window on Windows or in an X Quartz window if you're on a Mac. If you're on a Mac, you may need to resize the X Quartz window in order to see those um, X and Y axis labels. So you can see here that we have a moderately strong negative linear relationship between these two variables, um, and there do not appear to be any outliers. So we're good to go for regression. So we can close our scatter plot and go back into our commander, and now we can perform li linear regression. So to do this, we'll come up to statistics, fit models, linear regression. And our response variable is the y variable. This is going to be satisfaction. And the explanatory variable is the x variable. And this is anxiety here. You'll notice that our commander wants you to give a name to this model. And the default is something like regmodel.1. This is fine. You can just leave this as is. So now I can click OK. And we've got some R output that appears in the output window here. The most important part of the output is this coefficients table here. So the intercept row refers to um, our sample intercept. This is B0 on your help card. So B0 is 146.449. This is our sample intercept for our regression line. And the slope coefficient, or B1, is negative 37.117. So notice that R labels the slope coefficient as whatever your explanatory variable is. It also gives you standard errors for those estimates, as well as t statistics and p-values for the two-sided t-test for the null hypothesis that each of these parameters is equal to zero. So for instance, uh, this is a p-value that corresponds to the null hypothesis that beta 1 is equal to zero. And you can see that the p-value is quite small, so we would reject the null hypothesis and say that beta 1, the true population slope, is not equal to zero here. It's a two-sided test. You can also see that there is an F test down at the bottom here. Um, you'll notice that this F statistic is exactly the t-value for the slope squared, and the p-values here, the p-value for the F statistic, should match the p-value for the slope. When you're doing regression with only one explanatory variable, as we do in Stats 250, this F statistic is just another way to test the null hypothesis that the true population slope is equal to zero. So these two things, these two tests should coincide exactly. Another thing that we might be interested in is the multiple R squared. 
So this is the square of the correlation, and it explains a or, and it describes approximately the percent of variation in the response variable that can be explained by a linear relationship with the explanatory variable. So 41.55% of variability in the satisfaction uh, scores can be explained by a linear relationship with a person's anxiety level. If we wanted to find r, the correlation coefficient, we would take the square root of 0.4155, and then it's important to remember that we would need to get the correct sign for this. So the relationship between anxiety and satisfaction is negative, as evidenced by a negative slope coefficient. So the correlation between anxiety and slope will be the negative square root of 0.4155. We can check this by actually producing a correlation matrix in R. So to do this, we'll come up to statistics, summaries, correlation matrix, and we want to choose the two variables that we want to investigate the correlation between. To select both variables, you'll need to hold your control key. To select both of these things, just so keep those defaults checked and press OK. And now you can see that the correlation between anxiety and satisfaction is negative here, and it turns out that 0.645 is approximately the negative square root of 0.4155, as seen up here. It's also important to be able to use R to check the assumptions that we uh, need for linear regression. So remember that the assumptions in linear regression are that the population relationship is in fact linear, that the true errors are normally distributed, and independent of each other, and that the true errors should have a constant variance. So the way that we can assess these assumptions is by looking at a few diagnostic plots. So to get those diagnostic plots, we can come up to models, all the way down to graphs, and then choose basic diagnostic plots. In your original R window, if you're on Windows or in an XWorts window on Mac, you'll see a quartet of plots show up here. We're really interested in the top two here. So the first plot here in the top left is a residuals versus fitted values plot. Here we're looking for these points to be approximately uh, equally scattered around zero with no patterns here. So we should see a constant band around the zero line. And that's more or less what we're seeing here. So that's good. We also want to check whether our true errors are normally distributed. So we can see that our our sample errors, our residuals, are approximately normally distributed, which lets us uh, generalize that to the population and say that the population of er true errors is approximately normally distributed. So the normality assumption is satisfied. The residuals versus fitted plots lets us assess that the true relationship is linear and that the, cons the, the true errors should have constant variance. So back in the R markdown, or in R commander, we can go into the R markdown tab, and we can uh, write out, for instance, the equation of our regression line. So we can say the equation of the least squares regression line for the regression of anxiety on satisfaction is, I'm going to put a new line, and now I'm going to try to explain how to typeset some math in here. So if you use two dollar signs, this is going to tell our commander that you want to typeset some math here. So now we can typeset the regression line. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to type a backslash, the word hat, a curly brace, y, close that curly brace. So equals the value of our slope coefficient, 146.449, 146 minus 37.117x, and we're going to close that with two dollar signs here. So we'll scroll up to the top, we're going to replace this with main title, we're going to call this Prelab 12, replace this with your name, and then come up to File, save our markdown file as, and I'm going to save this as Prelab12.rmd, and click Generate Report. So now our report has opened in a browser. You can see that we've got our scatter plot here. We can scroll down. We have the residuals versus fitted values plot, that QQ plot that we wanted, as well as the other two diagnostics plot. 
And then at the bottom, you can see that we have our nicely typeset equation here with a Y hat. So this is the file that you're going to want to turn in. If you go into your file explorer, you'll see an HTML file. This is the file that you're going to submit to Canvas. Um, and if you have any questions, reach out to your GSI, let us know what's going on, and we'll be happy to help. We're looking forward to seeing you in lab this week.